What's going on guys? We're just having some, some beers, only the best bush and or bush light when you're trail riding. Keep hydrated. Are you drinking bush light? Yes, sir. Yeah, I figured. You look like the type. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna unbox these MSA Lock 2s and uh, mount some tires. Sam's the unboxer today. So I'm the best at it. Uh, judging by the amount of wheels and mud tires you have here, I think you've done this once or twice. Are you sure you're good at this? Oh, bead lock ring, stop. Read instructions, discard that quickly. <laughs> Always a good feeling getting new wheels to destroy. Fifteens, baby. Oh yeah, those are gonna look awesome. Hardware. And some bolts. That's it. Nice. So mounting uh, bead locks, you, you don't need a tire machine or anything because the one side of the rim is really quite a bit smaller than the other, so the tires just fall right over. Did they send us valve stems? Please tell me they gave us valve stems. Nope. Do you have valve stems? Nope. Luckily, I do. Because <laughs> I brought the drift trailer. Oh, valve stems. What the hell? You buy these rims and they don't give you valve stems? Are you sure there's no valve stems in there? That's whack. Yeah, check under there. What the heck? All right, we'll get some valve stems out of the uh, trailer. Got the tire kit of the drift trailer. I brought the trusty race trailer, so it's got valve stems. Look at that. One. Shorties, too. Look at these, hey? Slap that beadlock ring on there and see what she looks like. Oh, these are gonna look good. Nice. All right, let's get that valve stem in there. You need a valve, well, you don't need one. You don't need one, but it's nice to have a valve stem too. Okay. So we got the valve stem in. It's better to run shorties, but it doesn't really matter because these MSAs are really smart actually. They've mounted the valve stem in a nice spot there. Not like out pointing in the out direction. All nice and covered. Yeah, so they should be pretty good there. And once you get the bead lock ring on there, it covers the inside of the rim a bit. So we got the valve stem in. Don't forget to put the valve stem in because um, if you do, then you gotta take the wheel back off. <laughs> Ask me how I know. So, like I said, with the bead locks, it's really easy. Lube is your friend. Just lube these tires up a bit. And then we're gonna take the small side, which is the bead lock side, and we're literally just gonna shove it into the rim. There we go. It's as easy as that. Flip her over. And just position that tire on there nicely. And the bead lock ring will push everything into place. Cool. So that's pretty much mounted, so you don't need any special tools. Um, so we'll get the bead lock ring on there. And that's important not to use your impact, your three, like your half inch impact and give it like 16 daka dakas at like 4,000 foot pounds because you're going to break these. Um, so I don't know what they say for the torque spec, but it's usually somewhere in like between 12 and 15 pounds, give or take. Yeah. And you want to, you want to kind of tighten them in a star pattern so that they, um, so that they tighten nice and evenly. And we're going to pay attention specifically just to see whether that tire is seating evenly on the rim. Once it kind of slips down there, it's pretty good to go. And I usually just, I just hammer them on with like a, oftentimes I don't use an impact. I kind of use like, not an impact, but I use my torque wrench. But um, if, if you don't have a good feel for them, you haven't done them before, then it's always a good idea to, to follow the directions and, and use a torque wrench, which I guess we'll do for the video. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll get the hardware. And uh, I'm just gonna finger tighten them in to start. And it comes with uh, probably it's like 13s and then uh, a washer. So we'll just start these babies. You got a socket? Yep. Quarter inch ratchet. Quarter inch ratchet and then uh, what looks to be like a 13. 
Oh, I got the exact same snap on her ratchet. Nice. 13? Yep. 13 and up. Nice flush mount bolts, eh? Yeah, just make sure you don't uh, cross thread these bad boys. Put it on a bucket? Yeah, you got a bucket? Yeah. There we go. Beauty. This specialized rim mounting and tire mounting device there. So just go around and there's nothing fancy to this. Get these all kind of started, finger tight. And then we'll go around and we'll we'll tighten them up. There we go. That one started. Hand off. Once you get a few, it'll suck it down a bit and then the rest will be pretty easy. So depending on the rims you've got, they might have more or less um, bolt holes. Obviously the more the better in this application. Uh, the biggest problem people run into is sometimes their bead locks will leak around here. Uh, I find that every time you mount these, after you drive the machine and air it up and kind of drive it a few times, you should go back around and you should torque these down again because um, that tire's kind of got a seat. And then obviously, like I said before, you don't want to over torque these because um, the goal is to keep these rims and tires for a while or, or keep these rims for a while. So if you over torque them, you're going to kill these, um, because the rims are aluminum. So you're going to kill the threads in there and you want to make sure that you just torque them to spec so that you can use these over and over and over again. Let's just go around, it doesn't have to be exact. And just tighten them up a bit and then we'll hit them with the torque wrench. Big shout out to Royal Distributing for hooking me up with these tires and rims. Do you need parts for your ride this spring? Then head on over to RoyalDistributing.com and browse the massive online selection. Whether it's for a motorcycle, dirt bike, ATV, or side by side, Royal Distributing is Canada's power sports leader. Royal's got everything you need to get you and your machine ready to ride. Free shipping on all orders over $39. Some exclusions do apply. Eat, sleep, ride. Roll the street. These are the MSA Lock 2s and a 15 with the uh, BF Goodridge Cam 3s in a, ten, um, in a 32 by 10 by 15. We want to go to a 15 inch wheel for a while. A uh, good benefit of running a bigger rim is you don't have to run into issues like rocks and other debris blasting a hole through your rim. You ever had that? Yes, had that? Yeah. on the Blackwaters, the first ride out with you. You blew a rim? Yeah. And uh, I have the same thing. I think I've, I've done that two times for sure, if not three. Once on a stock wheel and then once on one of my KMCs where I got a, a rock jam between the rotor and the uh, rim and it just blew a hole right through it. Man, these look awesome. They're gonna, they're gonna match the razor really well. Yes. My first set of MSAs. I've never had MSAs before. Had a bunch of KMCs, a bunch of other rims, but uh, pop my MSA cherry here. Good wrist action. Thanks, man. I've had a lot of that experience twerking down bolts. Get your head out of the gutter, dude. <laughs> Dirt bags. All right, that's good. You got that baby set. It's 15, yeah. 15 pounds. Work her down. <laughs> set to loosen, dude. 15 pounds off, 15 pounds on. I probably should have gone a little tighter. So obviously we're not gonna go through all four of these. We'll just go through this one. And then you just repeat this process for the um, other three wheels. But we'll air this one up first, make sure it doesn't leak or anything. And then uh, we'll get it mounted on the machine. We'll do some befores and afters. I think the Razor, the Battle Wagon, is going to look insane with these on there. It's going to look like it should. I think it should pretty much come with 32 stock. All the new machines do. Look at all that space in between the front and the back, the back wheel. Yeah. All that space. We gotta fill some of it. I mean, I'm still nothing. Like, take a look at those meats, eh? 
real tires, right? Real men's tires. Yeah. And it's got these little girly things here. I think the next step is gonna have to be clutching. Uh, I just looked online, it says 12. 12, okay, we're at 15, right? Yeah. So let's switch her to 12. And we'll go around. Yeah, there it is. So 12 pounds is what we're going to go to. Twelve ish, right? Twelve ish. This is the worst part. Finishing so it off? It just takes so long to put these on. But bead locks are the key. You want bead locks. I don't ever run without that. Like I don't like to run without bead locks if you're bearing down below 10 pounds. Say hi Brandon. What's going on guys? We're just all standing here watching you work your wrist. Are you a city worker? I'm a city worker. I've been through this. <laughs> I understand. It's like you think you torque them and then you go around. Because it keeps pushing the rubber down. down. Yeah. Buddy, you go be there for hours. You need like ridiculous. eight laps, yeah. yeah. Let's give him some air. Thanks. There we go. Yeah, we gotta keep that lower bead, right? Yeah. Ooh. That's why. That would be why. Let's flip her over. I'll put it on another time. There you go. She going? Yep. Keep that back key, and then we're good to go. Reminds me of the airbag video where I'm gonna go flying <laughs> in a second. What do you at? 40. Give her some, some lube. Looks like it's gone right there already. Yeah, it's gonna pop now. Oh, it's, it might not even really pop. No bubbles? I don't see any. Those nope. ones are already there. Yeah. Pick her up, maybe give her a bounce? Yeah. She's got 50 pounds in her. Ooh. That's scary. Good basketball skills. I'd say let's mare out and yeah. done. I'm going to leave her at 50 for now, let her stretch out. I'd say that's a win. You guys see any bubbles? Nope. Nope. That's better than it's gone in the past. <clears throat> Sweet. Well, now we repeat three times. We'll mount these puppies. They look good, eh? They do. I like them. See what they look Roll like. them up. They made a big difference when I first put them on my bike. Oh yeah. That's a noticeable difference. Yeah, I didn't, I barely went over that. Yeah. Yeah, 40 is like, that means 80. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows they give you a double. How's she look? Good. Oh, it's oh. gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Yeah, I'm pumped. Once it's on there, too, on the 15, it'll sit a little higher. Yep. Sweet. Let's right get her done. So yeah, we'll mount the, the other three now, and then we are good to go, and we'll, we'll get them mounted up, and then do some burnouts, right? Yes, sir. Do some burnouts and some wheelies? 
Some we're gonna do some wheelies in the commander, right? Or the defender. defender yeah. Defender yeah. yeah. We're gonna do defender wheelies. Freedom. Freedom wheelies. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out in the shop with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Also, smash that like button. If you enjoy the video, share them with your friends, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, and check back often because we have a lot of cool content coming your way. We'll see you in the next video, and ride safe out there.